Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another top 5 guide here on Borderlands the pre-sequel. This is the series where I pick a category and then proceed to bring you guys a relevant top 5 things to do with that category. So today we're going to be carrying on the guides and uh, we're going to actually be looking at the top 5 best legendary assault rifles in the game. That of course includes DLC and non-DLC, so we're going to be looking at the vanilla and the DLC legendary assault rifles. Interesting thing is there is actually only 5 um, total legendary assault rifles in the game, 4 vanilla and 1 from the Claptastic Voyage DLC. So uh, yeah, we're just going to be putting those top 5 assault rifles in order of uh, best to worst legendary. So without further ado, let's get on with the guide. So at number 5 I've decided to go for this guy right here, it is the Hammer Buster 2. Obviously returning from Borderlands 2, this is the second variant of the Hammer Buster. Uh, it's a Jacobs assault rifle so obviously it fires as fast as you can pull the trigger. So the quicker you click the quicker you can actually uh, take shots of this thing. It is very fast firing, it's not the best of damage, um, it's not too bad when hit firing but again it's single shot so you've got to pull that trigger as many times as you can. Um, but yeah it does do its job, it's not the best assault rifle by a long way that's why it's at number 5 but it certainly does do quite a lot of damage so at number 5 is the Hammer Buster 2. So at number 4 we are going to be placing the Major Tom. Now this isn't a bad assault rifle at all, it has a uh, burst fire feature when zoomed and uh, also it has uh, times 3 projectiles when shot so uh, they spread out in a horizontal pattern meaning that uh, larger enemies uh, it can hit all 3 bullets at once which is uh, pretty good so this ultimate badass right here all 3 shots are landing on him and uh, it's doing quite well against him um, I've got this in the shock variant but it does come in other variants as well um, it does well at stripping the shields though like, um, like you can see right here and uh, you don't have to be too accurate with it either like I said because of that um, spread shot pattern uh, it's not too bad in uh, hip fire either it's uh, pretty slow but uh, it is quite an accurate weapon as well so there you go at number four we have gone for the major tom moving on to number three then I've decided to pick the fusillade which is a uh, really nice um, LMG looking assault rifle actually. Now the best thing about this thing is it has an absolutely huge magazine size. I've got uh, 122 rounds I start off with uh, on this character and uh, yeah it just it is an absolute workhorse this thing. It just fires away and it's pretty damn accurate as well. Maybe not the best damage um, on an assault rifle that you can get but it certainly makes up for the fact that uh, if you can uh, land those crit shots it will really really wreck anything you put in front of it and you don't have to reload it hardly at all which is uh, very good for areas with plenty of uh, enemies in so uh, you're not sat there wasting time when you do have to reload it does take uh, quite a while but it's not too bad at all um, like I said because you don't have to reload it that often so there you go at number three that is the fusillade well at number two you guys knew this would be quite high placing it is the Kabloom, uh, which is obviously returning from Borderlands 2, in which it was called the Kablaster. This is an explosive Torg assault rifle. It's a single shot firing uh, weapon, and basically when it hits the floor or a target, it will explode on impact. Now this is a very, very handy and pretty much game breaking weapon with a, uh, an explosive claptrap build. But as you can see, I'm using uh, Handsome Jack here and uh, he is still doing pretty damn well with it indeed so uh, yeah very very powerful um, assault rifle obviously if you can get enemies frozen as well they will um, benefit from the um, crit bonus from uh, being frozen using explosive weapons as well so that is a really good suggestion uh, but yeah all around a seriously powerful weapon you don't even have to be that accurate with it you can just fire it at the floor and uh, if it gets anywhere near an enemy it will uh, kill him. So at number two it is the Kaboom. 
So now here is the moment, it's time for our number one and I decided to pick this guy here, the Shredder Fire. Now the Kaboom was very close to coming in at number one but this thing is just an absolute mental bit of kit and uh, very fun to use as well. I, uh, I like to pick the weapons that are quite fun and enjoyable to use but uh, this is the Shredder Fire which is obviously a spinny gun uh, assault rifle and uh, yeah it's exactly what it says on the tin it's uh, just a spinny gun but the thing is if you can keep that uh, that nozzle spinning it's very very quick firing absolutely mental it's got a really high capacity of magazine size so uh, you don't have to reload it that often and you can just go absolutely mental with it it's uh, very accurate in both uh, aiming down the sights and um, hip firing as well and as you can see here uh, we're just absolutely destroying anything that pops out on us so uh, yeah all in all just a really fun and enjoyable weapon and that's why I've decided to give uh, this the number one spot so at number one that is the legendary assault rifle the shreddy fire so there you go guys that is another top five guide complete and that was the top five best legendary assault rifles really hope you guys enjoy this hope you agree with it as well um, if you do then be sure to let me know if you don't and you would have put them in a different order again put it down in the comments below it's uh, nice to see what everyone's uh, top five are of all of these weapons so uh, yeah there you go that is the top five best legendary assault rifles on Borderlands the pre-sequel thank you guys for watching really hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one